In this video, I'm going to be sharing where you can find the cheapest violin strings on the web. Stick around to the end of the video. You don't want to miss this. Hi there, my name is Eric. I'm a violinist. Thanks so much for coming across this YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. That way you get notified for when new videos come out. It also helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. So in today's video, we're going to see where you can find the cheapest violin strings and what are the cheapest violin strings. So here are the top five cheapest violin strings I'm about to share with you. And for today's video, we're going to use fiddlershop.com and uh, we're going to go over here to strings. We're going to go to string sets. And just for the sake of this video, we are going to do full size violin string sets. Um, because the majority of us play on uh, full-size violins, so we might as well do that. So we are going to go based on string sets, violin strings. Okay, and what do we have here? We have a few options, actually. We have the Dario Prelude Violin Strings. I think this tends to be the cheapest set out there. Um, the Dario makes pretty affordable violin strings, and, you know, I, I, in my experience that they're a pretty steady seller for anyone who's looking to start to play the violin. So the Dario uh, Prelude, the Dario Helicore. Helicore, I've noticed that a lot of the Helicore strings are used for like um, electric violence because they have a nice steely kind of sound. So something to kind of keep in mind. Uh, so yeah, so the Dario Prelude Helicore uh, we also have the Daddario Pro Arte, which is also a good brand. And um, the Daddario Ascent of Violin string sets. I think overall the Dario makes like really solid strings, um, like below the $25 range. So you could also get the Corelli Crystal, the Tomastic, Alpa Yui. Actually, I don't know the pronunciation of this, uh, of the string set. So. Um, anyway, so you have the Tomastic, whatever this is, <laughs> and then the Corelli Crystal, uh, the Dodari Ascente, which is a good string um, from what I've heard. Um, something that I recommend too, something that's like a little bit over the $25 budget, but still under, still reasonably, reasonably priced, is the Perastro Tonica. I know that you know when I was in desperate need of strings, I relied on these tonicas to kind of give me a fresh set to get a good sound. They don't last long, and if you're like a beginner, again, this is like the nicer beginner set. But if you don't, if you want something that's a little less than like twenty-five or thirty dollars, then I would probably go with the ones I recommend here: um, the Dario prelude the helicore you know filler man also makes their own strings but I, to be honest i've never tried them so leave a comment down below if you want me to make a review of these filler man strings because um they seem to be getting a lot of traction 133 view reviews and it's five star rating but yeah the dario prelude helicore uh pro arte um the tonicas also um the dario ascente the Corelli crystals and um, and of course the helicore yeah but this is uh, this is a five string this is why this is a little bit more expensive the 56.99 price point is because those strings are meant for five string violence especially for electric violence so that's something to kind of keep in mind as you are searching a around um, let's see I mean I also noticed that there are these prim violin strings um, actually, I used to have a colleague from Latvia who really recommended these, but I've never, um, never really had a chance to try them. So, but he said he liked them. Uh, they're they're steel strings, medium tension. And uh, let's see what else there is. Oh yes, the o the O famous red label violin string set. Like if you're really desperate, like if you're really desperate for strings and you really don't want to break the bank. The red label, of course, they they do the job. I mean, they're just a piece of s steel. You know, they're, you're not gonna get like the nice warm sound in like um, the upper thirty to upper forty dollars range. So this is probably the cheapest you are going to get. Oh, actually, no, this I, I'm wrong. Super sensitive five ninety nine, 
fiddle string set. I'm actually curious about this one. Is it only one string? No, it's, it's, it's an entire set. It's a silver plated round moon set. It's a perfect string for set for fiddle players. Now, fiddle players and classical musicians, um, fiddle players and just classical musicians in general, they are not, uh, they're not in the same sound world. Like with fiddlers, they're looking for a little bit more scratchy sound. And also, um, they really don't care if digging from the string. But for us musicians, classical musicians, we're looking for a little bit more uh, color palette in our sound. So that is something to kind of keep in mind as you're buying strings. If you're a beginner, this is literally the cheapest one, the $599. Um, that I can find. There's also the Optima Gold Brocad Violin String Set, although I normally use these for E strings. I use this brand for E string. Actually, I remember when I was working at a violin shop, there was a concert master of a famous orchestra came in and he actually has like four different strings from four different brands on his, um, on his Strat. And he actually used the Gold Brocad um, High Tension E string. So that's something to kind of keep in mind as you're shopping for violin strings. Um, and yeah, I guess you get the war call, bar call, war call. Yeah, you have this right over here. Yeah, the fra so obligato. Uh, don't be fooled by when you see this. The fractionals, the fractional sets means that you are gonna get the set below the full size set. So like three quarters or like half size violin to three quarter size. Like if you're a serious musician and are looking for like a nice medium tension string that provides a dark sound. Obligato is a way to go. Um, and I actually never, I don't know about the Fortune Charm violin string set, but let's go over the, the strings under the $30 range, shall we? So we have the Parasso Piranito violin string set with aluminum A, that's right over here. We also have, yeah, the same thing. And then moving backwards, Moving backwards, I'm gonna go back here. Um, we got the red label. We got the super sensitive old fiddler line string set. Um, I'm really shocked by this 599 set. I'm really curious to actually try these out. Uh, not on my violin, but you know. But uh, this is also another fiddle set. Uh, 1989, so under twenty dollars. Um, the Optima Gold Brocat. So you have a lot of options people you have a lot of options uh, let's go back to the first page uh, if you're like wanting to go above the $30 range then you know the fiddler man violin string set I don't know these strings so I can't recommend them but it seems they, they have to have good reviews um, let's read some of the reviews here um, I put Tomastic Dominance and Fiddler Man strings on the same violin made shots with both to test to claim that they can be comparable. Guess what? On this violin, the Fiddler Man strings actually sounded considerably better than the Dominance. Huh. So yeah, that's intriguing. I'm wanting to see if maybe this could work. Um, I use, um, I actually use none of the strings that are actually listed on the site. I use a special set of Tomastic, uh, um, Tomastic strings that I use. Um, there you have it. Um, if you want links to those strings, I'm gonna put affiliate links down below. And uh, if you're in the market for strings, this, I hope this video helped you. And if you've not subscribed yet, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. That way you get notified for when new videos come out. It also helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. Thanks so much and I will see you in the next video.